It's strange not going live. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. We're the Knitting Posse. I'm Kim. I'm Laura. I'm Kate. Laura is home with us Yay. now. Yay. Her little sabbatical is over and she's back where she belongs. <laughs> That's right. True. I feel that way. Uh, yeah. As much as I loved every minute of it and I, I know how lucky I am to have had this opportunity, it's really nice to be home. It's nice to have you home. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Although with the like FaceTime now in Instagram, like you felt like a <laughs> I felt like yeah, home sometimes. <laughs> Except for when we were we were somewhere doing something yeah. together mm -hmm. as the posse. So yeah. today is August seventh. We're taping and two thousand twenty three. Seventeen. Seventeen. I'm like, what happened? I missed ten days. <laughs> It's jet lag. <laughs> and it's episode 56. So we're going to try to go back to videoing our recordings. So let's, fingers crossed, we could figure instead out. Instead of recording live, instead of, what we yeah, had yeah, been doing. Yeah, so. yeah, and we might go back and forth. We could yeah, do whatever we'll we want. Yeah, yeah. So um, let's start with what we're wearing. Laura. An oldie but a goodie. This is my shake rag. It's funny. Um, this looks a little more sheer on camera it does. Than, yeah. than I think it does in real yeah. life, but you see it looks a tank on. Yeah. Um, this was a modern daily knitting. Um, it was the stripes um, edition. They you know do a whole book of patterns, and it's designed by. Was it stripes or transparency? Oh, I always do it I wrong. Think do I it think wrong. I wore this recently. Yes. Anyway, it's knit in jade sapphire silk. Yes. I believe Yes, the designer was Amy Christopher. I feel like it was too, but we'll put I it could in be the wrong. show. Yeah, I could be wrong, but anyway. Um, so we far all, we have no info. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Not a good start. Um, uh, we all three knit this. These guys both did a much darker color, which I, I look at quite frequently and say, ooh, I want one. But this is just, it's just a great, this yarn, I've said it before, it's one of my all-time favorites. It's linen and cashmere. It's just light and comfortable. And Luxury loose. yarn. It is. And it's mm -hmm. it just results in a beautiful, beautiful piece. I actually, they did one, they offered one in a different like cotton yarn and I made it and I, I just, love, yeah. I don't love it as much as this one. I did a navy and I just hardly ever wear it. So One word, cashmere. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a little bit of a theme for me today. Just saying. You'll see, but yeah. Just it's um, beautiful. I, I can confirm it is Amy Christopher's, Yay. and it was um, Modern Daily Knitting Field Guide number six, Transparency. Okay, I think okay. I did that before with the stripes. You but, did, yeah. And, and what's cool about it is it's the same yarn. You just hold it single for one stripe and then double, and it just, oh, I just love it. Yeah, it's no, it's a beautiful sweater. It's, I love it, and yeah. it's just a perfect kind of throw over. It's not hot. Love it. Yeah, and it's a funny day here in Connecticut. Yeah. It's a little... Yeah, it's like, it's not hot, but it's humid and... Meh. Low 70s Fahrenheit. Spitting so rain. Spitting rain. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, it's gross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could have stayed in Scotland for this, guy. <laughs> <laughs> could have had a proper sweater on. Yeah. I don't know. Kate, what do you have? Um, I am wearing my ranunculus. Um, I number knit two? this. Yes, number two. This is my summer, summer ranunculus. I knit this in... Um, Moondrake Merino Linen. Um, it is 90% linen and 10% um, real wool, I think. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we could see the I little think, linen. 90% right? yeah. Merino, 10% linen. I was The wrong. other way. I was like, that's yes, a lot no, of linen. The other way. Yeah. yeah. Um, the colorway is Eldritch. Um, and uh, the pattern is by Midori Hirose. And there are 20,000 pieces. Right? That, yeah, so you have two. Knit. I have so, two. I made one, but I didn't love it, and I need it's to. It's time. Yeah, um, I'll make a better one. I know. I so I did mine with short sleeves. I modified it a little bit, um, made the sleeves a little bit longer than what the pattern calls for. Um, and I actually did, I, I made it slimmer than what the pattern calls for also, but all of my notes are on my Ravelry page. Yeah. I wish um, you would change the cover photo of her pattern. Because it's, yes. it doesn't yes. look like, I haven't no. seen any ranunculus that looks like that one. No. Is it hers no. really, really sheer It's and very loose. Really sheer, sheer and loose, and yeah. very and big and I think baggy. this is incredible yeah. because every single person comes, it, it looks so different. To, you know, people yeah. knit in different yarns and mm -hmm. different gauges. Um, um, 
obviously that suits you very well, but I think some people like... Um, well, Dinah. We had lunch with Dinah and Pam and Beth McDonald Stone yesterday at, um, in Long Island, and then went to the yes. uh, the knitting place, and Dinah mm -hmm. had one on, and... It was gorgeous. Beautiful. I actually am thinking it, like, I was it, just going to say, I want to do silk. another, I want to do another one, and I loved, like, the sleeves on her. Yeah, she, yeah. Just she kept did the like regular, little, right, it's, that's how the pattern's written. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was um, beautiful, and they, uh, they, they look similar, but you can interpret it so many yeah, different ways. That's the, um, that's the cover photo yeah, that Kim yeah, was yeah. talking about. Yeah, I just. It's like baggier and looser, and, mm -hmm. yeah. You would never but, know that you could make it so many different ways, yeah. but now that there's six million projects on there, yeah, it has to be up there. Top Ravelry projects, yeah. right? I, yeah. It's got to be. Has to be. So. Up there, yeah. so many um, people I have on my Esther uh, by Camilla Vad, and I love this sweater. So, I know it's a good it's one. Fantastic. It's knit in Camilla Fiber Company DK in the gray, the two dark, the dark gray and the light gray are Camilla Vad. And the yellow, and there's a very... Camellia fiber. Camellia fiber. Come on, thanks. Yeah. Yes. Yep. I yep. like to keep a theme. <laughs> <laughs> and then the pink and the uh, the yellow are um, Julie Aslan mm -hmm. Melange. Yeah. And, it's so good. Uh, just the colors are gorgeous. Colors are yeah. great. Yeah. Uh, it's a great fit. I knit the large. Um, really? Yeah, I did actually. Mm -hmm. and it looks fantastic. It's, yeah, it's really a good cute. sweater. Um, yeah, I've worn especially it a in lot. the summer. I feel because like, this is a little wooly, right? It's but it's actually. I can't remember what. Um, uh, cat like. Mm. I don't Sorry. know what it is. Sorry. Anyway, I, I think in, the, in the, the summer, blazer. if you're going to yeah. wear something, yeah. you know. Yeah. 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 Today's a good day. I wouldn't wear it in an 80 degree day. No. Yeah. But no. with the yeah. air conditioning on and everything else, it was good to go. Yeah. So, yeah, that is what we're wearing. Perfect. Um, should we do FOs? Sure. Okay. Me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I have two. Um, one of which I had started before I went back to Scotland and was kind of almost finished with it. Um, I'll do that one first. We walked into, while I was home in the middle, like end of June, early July. Our last podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I, we went to pick up every stitch and Karen is just, I, I she, everything she knits, yeah. I want to knit. And she had knit this, um, it's called the cherry sweater, but it's hard to find on Ravelry. It's a Sandness Garn oh, design. And the white is um, Lena Line however you pronounce it. And Karen had done hers. Um, I'll show you the pattern in a second. It. She had done the stripes in Fua Fua. You have to like, you have to just like, I want to just like you pet feel myself. The fua fua. <laughs> you gotta feel Can it. Can you see it? Um, yeah, it's just, yeah. Um, so she did it with um, Fua Fua held double and I just copied her. Hers was a, like a beigey neutral color and I did the bright white. Um, it's this, it's a, I think the pattern was free with the purchase of the yarn. Yeah. Um, and actually, um, it's called the cherry sweater, but if you search cherry sweater on, um, Ravelry, you won't find it. It's got a, and I'll post a link to it. It's okay, like, okay. it's called the cherry genser mead stripa. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, uh, Danish is not good, but anyway, um, I do love this version with all the different color stripes. I think that's really pretty. Let but I just fell in love with yeah, um, yeah. The this and, yeah. you know, blue and white. You know what I love? Forever. I love the cup and I love the hem. So yeah, it's, it's a, a it's a fold, fold over, over. You, yeah. you um, purl a row yes. and then go down a needle size and, and then and fold it. And I love this split hem. Too. Yeah, yeah. And I actually copied Karen. I hope she'll be proud of me because sure she she's will. like a, I don't know how to, she, she knows a lot room. about um, structure and I added this little extra support at the split so it didn't um, how, how did you do that oh I okay. copied her okay but <laughs> so it looks like you're supposed to into. you're supposed to just knit all the way here and then sew it down but then that leaves you with kind of like open loose stitches yes. so I held six I didn't bind off the last six stitches on either side and then I knit up to here on both sides and then joined together and knit across and then tacked it down. And it just gives it's a smart. beautiful. Yeah. But Spiration. that's like, that's why, yeah. this is why I'm obsessed with Karen. Like she yeah. always does these, she understands how to make something a little bit better. And it would be hard to kind of explain that maybe in a pattern, I don't know, but I saw hers and I was like, yes. She also well, did she's that. she's a great on, designer. She is, yes. she is. She just understands the, yeah. She also did that on um, the V-neck cummerband, cummerband by Anka Strick. 
um, which has a V and she kind of did the same thing behind that to give it the stability. A little more yeah. yeah, which really, is, it helps, it's good. Um, and then um, Monarch Knitting, I get her newsletter, um, Anne from Monarch Lit Knitting. Sucker. And it's, and it's, <laughs> it's dangerous, I, it's really dangerous. And so she posted a project, I think I got this while I was home again, and it's based on a sweater um, called, Oh, wow. Um, the Saga Pullover by Britt Marie. But then I think she's friends with Britt Marie or Britt Marie lives near or something because then um, Britt Marie herself did a summer version. And this is, um, and so when she posted that and there were kits available, I was like, uh-huh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, oh. And it's just, it's just a really basic, I mean, the pattern isn't anything... Um, yeah. Um, it's Plymouth Yarn Sea Isle Cotton. Um, yes, Plymouth Sea Isle Cotton. And oh. I just copied, and I kind of just it's... wung it and did it myself. Like, there were some little notes from Britt Marie, which were somewhat helpful, but I just kind of, I just kind of went for it and did my own thing. I love and it. Yeah, it's, it's just great. fun. I don't know how much I'll wear it. It's a little, it's, it's a lot of color squishy. for me. But um, it's just really fun. Yeah. I loved it, yeah. so... Um, wow. I finished that and no, then it's just a great shape of a sweater. Yeah, yeah it is. It's a really good sweater. And it's cotton. I mean, it's thick, but it's cotton. So, you know, a day like today, I could have worn it. Yeah. I probably should have worn it. Yeah. Um, Go take your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, Monarch knitting for me is a little dangerous. She does a good job of like second in. Yeah, and offering cool, you know, kits. She had this actually in a couple different colorways, but I loved the original that Britt mm -hmm. Marie had done. So. Those are my two FOs. I had to wait till I got home to block them and finish them because mm -hmm. I didn't bring mats or wires or whatever. And I'm a big believer in blocking and wires make everything better. So yep. as soon as I got home, I blocked and did that all and we're all good. Wow. So two nice projects. Two FOs. Yeah. 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 Thanks. Um, Kate. Um, I have one what? FO. Well, I'm counting it as an FO, but yeah. you can see there's <laughs> still ends to wipe. Here, pull it down. Um, this is the Friend to Friend by Leslie Friend. Oh, sorry. I feel like this um, should be the, I know, the name of the, the theme. podcast yes, today. today. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did this one I in... Is that um, your decreases you marked? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Love that. Yeah. Love yeah. that. Um, I, it's, it's knit in Lion Brand, um, Hue and Me. Um, it's a collaboration with Two of Wands. And the colorway for this one is called Werewolf. Ooh, um, I love the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's awesome. Yeah. Um, I would model this, but it's way too muggy yeah, today to do it's, that. Um, it's it's actually really cute. I yeah. I, I modified. I made the neck um, much shorter than what the pattern yeah, is. Yeah, she calls for four inches here. Yeah, and I mod I might I make mine shorter also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one is actually for a friend. So. Um, yeah, a friend, a friend, a friend, a friend, friend for, for a friend, friend. friend. Yes. from Leslie Friend, <laughs> from Leslie Friend. Yeah. And yeah. Um, what size did you do? The... I knit the size four. And did you make gauge? Did you actually check? Because I never did checked my gauge. Check. I Shocking. think I, I was a little <laughs> bit off. Um, but yours is definitely tighter than my mm. gauge. My gauge is looser than your gauge. Um, and it's so, all on our Ravelry pages. Yes. What, um, yes. what size we knit yes. or followed. Yep. <laughs> yep. We're trying yep. to knit. Yeah. So, um, uh, and t how long did it take you? I mean, you it didn't take that long. I, I, my knitting has been, production has been way down lately, um, but it didn't take that long. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's a quick knit. I, I used a two day um, project for me. I used size 11 needles, which is what the pattern calls for in the body of it, but the ribbing, I did um, a 10 and a half. And actually, it was a little long when I finished it, and it's knit bottom up. And so yeah, tell, tell yesterday, yesterday in the car on the way to the knitting place, I actually cut off like the three inches from the bottom and then picked up the stitches and re-knit the ribbing on a smaller size needle. Because when I originally cast it on, wow. I did not use the ten and a half on the and bottom. It was, it was and it was flipping up. Yeah. So I... Um, I You're shortened it, it a little bit, and yeah, I mean, I haven't blocked it or anything, and it's a yeah. yeah. and yeah. that's a washing machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, gas and, dry. And this yarn is very reasonable, right? Very reasonable. Yeah. I got it at Joann's, and I think like when you put the coupons and discounts <laughs> and they all owe those you things, money. They, yeah, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it ends up to be like. 
six to seven dollars a skein. A skein, something yeah, like that's that. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. And, and fun, and inexpensive, great gift. Great, great gift. Yes. Yeah. 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 They'll if be you're thinking you'll, you'll for see. Christmas. I was um, just gonna say that would yeah. make a great Christmas gift for a lot yeah. of people because that's time that you'd want to wear. Yep. Right. And wear it over your pajamas. I when you did come down the, the other day. I came down. It was chilly down here, and I wore it just over my pajamas and. It's yeah. a great little throw on. Sue, our friend Sue wears it on her boat. Oh, wow. And nice. she's yeah, like, I nice. don't care if spray gets on it yeah, or whatever. Yeah, she's machine, like, it's yeah. great. Throw it in the wash. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, it it does, a... Mine takes three skeins, but I barely get into that third skein. Same. Mm -hmm. Same. So I have a collection of Love now. It. You could make a stripe one. I was thinking that you could yeah, because yeah. Like, awesome. you'll see my colors yeah. and yeah. they're all, they they're all neutrals together. anyway. Yeah. So. yeah. And one of the things yeah. that I love, and this is why I think you shortened it, is it's supposed to end above your elbows so that you totally have mobility to... Um, it doesn't become sponsor like Yeah, it's not like you when you lift your arms, you know, your whole belly is showing. Yeah. So. Oh, that's awesome. Isn't that great? Yeah. Well, look no, how it, well it fits the shoulders. Well, yeah. she does it's a great like, job with I mean, the decrease yeah, yeah, nice. on there, but it yeah. makes yeah. it look fitted. Yeah, but you so can move and like, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You have your yeah. hands free. Yeah. It's a good, yeah. it's a good it's little good. piece. Yeah. 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 So, Nicely done. Thank you. So yeah, friend to friend by Leslie Friend. Yeah. For and my Kate, friend. Or her friend. And Kate gave me three skeins yesterday, so I will too. be yeah. knitting um, another. Uh, I will be knitting one, my first one. Maybe my first of many, who knows? Well, you'll see more. Today. Exactly. <laughs> we have a friend to friend problem. Yes. <laughs> no it's a good problem. problem. Yeah, yeah right. it's a good problem to have. Well, you might as well just bring over all the friend to friends. Bring okay. over all the friends. Okay, all the friends. So, yeah, I made a few too. And. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> well, I made the black one. We do have a problem. Look, look at the color thing going on. Would like, you go, guess that, would your actually, that would be a See? great stripe. It would be beautiful. Yeah. I have, yeah. I'm ready. And you definitely could do it with what you have left over. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. So yeah. The, my original one was in the black. Love it. Yeah. Oh, it fits Just great. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I keep making these for what guests. Wait, keeping but is, it, is it black or is it called werewolf? Werewolf. Is yeah, werewolf. werewolf yeah. Which to me looks black. It does. It's like yeah. a, okay. It's a charcoal. It's a dark, yeah. Is it? It's okay. a dark charcoal. Again, yeah. I, I did that. three inches at the neck and I made mine a little longer as I do everything else so it could yeah. come to my elbow. Yeah. So that was number one. And then I I made this one and I, I, I was knitting it. I'm like, this color is horrible. It just it's but, like baby poop, <laughs> whatever, yellow. But I love it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's just it it for fall. It's that's for, a great color Not for even. Fall. I yeah. just had it over my yeah. pajamas the other day. Yeah. Um, so another great one. Do you know the name of the color mm, in real life? Not, no. not up here. It is not baby poop around. It is not. <laughs> it's called Arrowwood. Oh, there you go. Oh, Arrowwood. Wow. There are yeah. so yeah. many colors. There's like, I don't know, like 40 different colors yeah. of it. Oh, wow. So, yeah. yeah. Awesome. And then yeah. the last so one I made, two. I oh, just yes. finished it. Well, here's, it's in just a, I don't even know what the color is. Gray, we'll call it. But don't, I tried something. I don't think something. it's gray though, but no, I know. we'll put all the colors in the show notes. Details. Yes. Details. Wait, wait, do you see? I know. I've been trying to oh, do yeah, some do embroidery on it. Look at that. Okay. So like I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But it I'm looks gonna, cute. Good. I'm going to rip out these two. Because I honestly, I was just making stuff up and try it, it again. Great. Like that one's better. Yeah, I love that. That one Isn't that is a little wonky. But, but I, it I, works. what did you use for the. Um... So I used leftover. Uh, it looks like fingering. It actually right? I went up to DK and oh, you held. Okay. I just held it together and so started just sewing. It the, looks great. The inside it. is a hot mess. Uh, nobody <laughs> looks at the inside. I know. Yeah. Look at that. But I've seen a couple of people who yes. have tried embroidery. Oh my gosh, Kate. Yeah, pull um, that one yeah, up. Yeah, I will. <laughs> and I'm like, what a cute little yeah. feature on the side. So mm -hmm. I'm going to continue. I'm going to fix them. I'm going to try some new ones and maybe continue it down. Not in a line, just so it's just a mishmash. Random little scattering of flowers. It's okay, great. I, I love it. This one came out really good. And yeah. there's there are a ton of YouTube videos out there to do, if you to, want to learn how to make a proper flower oops, oops. or a yeah this one really is yeah great. a daisy yeah. or whatever um, yeah get, it and a great seconds. way to use up some scrap yarn well that's what it was I cleaned out my yarn cl closet and I had so many just balls of random half used whatever and I'm like I just keep them in a basket now and I just pulled out some colors that I liked and 
just tried. Really great. So, so look at this one. Yes. And she uses that cool? the yarn. She used that, the yarn. That's yeah. really that, cool. Yeah. yeah. I didn't use... Goals. Mm -hmm. Goals, Goals, for sure. Yeah. Actually, so she just showed another one on her this podcast. Is, that was a knitter named Melody from Georgia. Nicely done. Yes, beautiful. Um, yes. Leslie showed one on her latest podcast. Oh my God, the details were beautiful. It looked like um, a meadow. Oh, of wild I haven't seen that one coming yet. up. Oh, and that's awesome. What a great nice. idea. What my fun. crappy ass. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Crappy arse. <laughs> flowers whatever yeah, no, i love it good. i think it's, it's great yeah. and, they look and what a great way to just try it just try just it what the heck yeah. and so yeah. there's supposed to be gifts for people but mm, who knows? <laughs> no yeah. i i do have i think i'll just keep making them and then when i get sick of making them for myself I'll it's also away. um a, probably a great like in between like you just need a break and you want to do something really easy it's yeah like a palette cleanser mm -hmm. that's the word I yeah. that's exactly what yeah, yeah because yeah. i've had i've had some struggles and some because you, so you can only right? wear so many yeah. hats you can only wear so many hats and you can only give away so many hats yeah. to the same people over right. and over yeah so uh, i have a nice trip planned at the end of this september and i th was thinking of making one for jane and audrey oh nice. yes yes yes, yes. Yes. Down, yes you know having yes. in their lavender field yes we'll wear them together definitely for, like, cackles. please take That's a picture fun. of yeah. that and post it <laughs> yeah. now no, i hope the they don't watch because they'll be that. like where's that poncho you see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right that so that was a little friend to friend moment uh the other one i finished was my flu by um, Espace Trico. Oh, and so oh, oh my gosh, it blocks. it blocks so beautifully. It this did. is Camilla Fiber Fingering. And believe it or not, I don't know if what color is showing up on the screen. It's a bluish green color. Yeah, it's really good. It's I looking a little it grayer with on the, on... Ito Sanse it's and so then like long. an aqua color. So you can't. It's yeah, it's beautiful. so long. Come, Carmen from Knitting a Good Yarn was my inspo for this. She knit one. And it just looks like the gr a great. Oh, it's so uh -oh. Big and cozy. I know. Uh -oh. I was looking and for it's a my shawl. color. It is it is <laughs> color. Hands off. Um, I wanted gorgeous. a nice, like, beautiful shawl it's for so like super the ballet or whatever. <laughs> it, it, no, honestly. Yeah, that's yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, not to is, dance. To not watch. to dance. <laughs> Well, yeah, I always, you might get up on stage. You might feel inspired looking so uh, when we uh, we do go to the ballet because it's one of my favorite things. And my husband's a good sport. And sometimes I wear my hair up just in case they need a slush. <laughs> you bring your toes. I do. I'm yeah. like, just in so, case. Um, they, 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 it's the back yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. God. It's so, so yeah. pretty. The bobbles and you, were not fun. It's so and drapey. You know what? A lot of times I don't like a lot of bobbles. And this, it just, it well, just, they're just tiny. I yeah, am missing so one good. row of bobbles. There's supposed to be a bobble finish. At the edge, and I didn't want to make no anymore. We were done. It's done. It looks fantastic. It's so super soft, and it's very airy. It's elegant, and it's just a nice Yeah. So if you could stick with it, I don't either. But that makes me want one too. Me too. So they're actually doing a. I think it's a fleur along or something. I'll put the fleur along. I'll put it in the show notes below. But yeah, Carmen and Jackie, if you don't watch their podcast, they're third. They're funny. They just laugh their butts off and knit some beautiful things too. So I've been having fun watching them beautiful. knitting a good yarn. All right. So that's that. Um, that's all the FOs? No. Oh, one oh, one no, more. No. One more. Um, <laughs> tiny, tiny, tiny. Oh, <laughs> baby sweater. Oh, cute. Sue is going to be a grandma. <gasps> so oh. her son's wife is having a baby girl. Not due till February, but I was like, Perfect opportunity to yes. make a little baby so sweater. Sweet. Another palette cleanser. What right? is it? So this is called Number Thirty One Baby Sweaters by Melinda Goodfellow. Came in like one of those random baby book sweater books, you know. Um, Plymouth Encore Heathered Pink. It's so cute. Honest to God, one I day. It. Oh. Knit. Yeah. I yeah. just need to get a few little buttons at the yeah. top here. It's only three buttons. I think for now on. Babies are getting sweaters from me. Super cute. Not super cute. Baby blankets I like making, but they take too long. They take too long. They this take was too long. Uh, Leslie Friend has a beautiful Her, what's the butterf the butterfly, the butterfly, butterfly kisses. Yeah. 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 Our butterfly like kisses is not it's so pretty, it's but so pretty. That, that goes very, special that's like your grandson. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, somebody Sue. else's grandson. <laughs> I don't even know your son, so he didn't <laughs> That's yeah, really sweet. Yeah. That's a great pattern too. 
oh my gosh, it was a great pattern. Like I said, I'll put it in our show notes below. So, okay. Whew, lots of little things. I think that's, that's it. it. <laughs> that's plenty. I know. Okay. I know. So let's get on to whips. Oops, whoops. Um, so me? Yeah. Me? Me, me, me. All right, so continuing with my cashmere obsession, which is a good, um, good more one. fua fua because the stripes in my blue and white thing, the cashmere, the blue is cashmere. So I am making mm -hmm. a moon bar. Oh, now I have to. Oh, I love. I, love I know. It. I'm hoping it's going to block, but I think it will. Of course um, it will. Uh, and Here, this, is, um, so this is uh, the fua fua is the white. And um, the the um, the stripes are in it's um, Feederbrook Entropy DK. The only thing I'm going to say about this because the pattern called for um, spin, spin cycle. cycle, and the only thing and it's not a huge deal because I have you know plenty here. The I think maybe the re the length of the color in this is much longer than in Spin Cycle. Oh, oh. So I have found myself like cutting out you have to cut yeah. your, your because I wanted to get yes. the. Yes. the variation okay. of yep. you know so um i just so like good. would pull really a bunch funny. out and then um it's really fun now here's the other thing this this pattern calls for four skeins of fua fua i'm this far and i'm almost done and this is the only two skeins i made it much narrower than the original i actually yeah. have a whole other skein that i'm probably going to dip into but only just um, and for me, I like that. I like a slightly, I didn't More like narrow. the, we, yeah, I like that wrapped around my neck. I don't want to feel like I've got a, um, what do you call those things? Like a neck brace. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so I'm almost, I'm getting close to finished. I might even be able to finish it, but probably I'll have to dip into that last skein, but it, it's possible to do this whoops, with two skeins. Just saying. With your modifications. Right. Yeah, yeah, you, yes. made it, you made it much more narrow. Yeah, so um, I don't want to give too much away, but he does on the ends, um, you start at one, you know, here, and this you increase, max. and then you have a section in the middle that's the same, and then you start to decrease. And I just did yeah. the increases, and I'm doing the decreases at a um, longer mm -hmm. rate. I don't want to give too much away because it's a paid pattern. And um, it's by Max the Knitter. Yeah, Max the Knitter. I love it. It's just, it's so fun and it's cashmere. It's, it's so it's, good. I can't you wait for spin weather cycle, too. right? I didn't do it yet. Oh, why do I, I think made you it do that? Because you've been talking about it. You've been talking about it. I have the Fua Fua and <laughs> I have, have the, the spin fuwa fuwa. cycle. All right, so do you yeah. have to yarn okay. manage on the, with the spin cycle? I should ask Kevin. I don't think so. No. Okay. No. Okay. Um, but... Um, I bought three skeins of mm -hmm. the moon bumps. Mm -hmm. um, fua and fua. I, no, <laughs> yeah, the fua fua. Um, because Max and Kevin said that I could make it long enough for my size yeah. with mm -hmm. only the three skeins. Yes, yeah. because so. this is um, the each skein is like. Forty-two, forty-four dollars. I mean, it's a the luxury. The floor is a luxury. It's yeah. a, it's yeah. beautiful. It's a, it's but it's basically a special like a fuzz, wrap. It's yeah, unbelievable, think, yes. and especially around your neck. Like mm -hmm. I always want something soft. Well, Dinah person, had so. a beautiful one she in her does. store yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Hers is on yes, Ravelry yes. too. Yeah, I, I tried to see. She it, actually yeah. also mm -hmm. has one that she did in yeah, a different is it more affordable. Is it a Santa scarf? No, no, no. It was um a Barico alpaca light. Okay. Yeah, and, um, and it so was, it's, it's definitely possible. It was beautiful. It it's was gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It, it yeah. wasn't as soft. And it's just, it it's, wasn't, but it, it wasn't. Really, really get what you like, I, I'm, yeah. Sometimes, like when you're knitting something, you're like, I'm just in awe of how he how did came you up. That? Yeah. yeah, like how he figured out how to do these, because these are basically um, eye folds in the middle. And it's just, and the pattern is, you know, obviously, it's so well so written. Talented. It's so exactly. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, wow, he just. We love Matt. Yeah. Um, it's <laughs> and just, then it's so cool. It's just, <laughs> Can't wait to see it's, them. Yeah. It's really, really cool. So that's my only love whip, it. but I'm okay. getting close to being finished. So trying to decide what to do next. I'll talk about that. Later. Oh, I know. Oh, so mm -hmm. much to net. Yes. In so little time. All right, Katie Q. Okay. I have um, my second French or French. <laughs> We are not sponsored by yes, Leslie Friends. No, we are not. <laughs> just sponsored obsessed. By fans. Just fans. Yes, just <laughs> obsessed. Exactly. Um, this is in um, again the same Lion Brand yarn, Hue and Me, mm -hmm. and this color is called Magic Hour. Um, uh, that's it's like the color a dusty, that, yeah, yeah, steely gray, steely yeah, gray blue, yeah, yeah, steely gray. yeah. 
Love it. Um, it's like, what, that's yep. like my passion So project. I started this last night in like a Marty. <laughs> right? Here. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Super fun. So I, I, um, I knitting large needle, it hurts my hands. It hurts my bit. hands too. It's, and, uh, yeah. But I feel but like. But I just stretch like I every stretch, once in a while. Right. I and, have to yeah. do some stretching. Hydrate. And then, <laughs> and then I also, um, metal, for me, metal needles feel oh, a little okay. bit better. I, I just think metal. it slides a little easier. Yeah. And, um, so. Okay. For the, Good to know. For maybe, that, maybe for my maybe, third, right. I will try the I mean, metal needles. Yeah. So. Um, okay. My second whip is, oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah. So, um, oh my gosh, was it two weeks ago? We went to lunch over at Kevin and Ray's house and I wasn't um, I know. you weren't back yet um it was delicious it was um, so delicious it was so I mean Kevin's all of you could have come because Kevin made that much I think food. Kevin <laughs> thought he was feeding like a football team <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. we might eat like a football team it but. was so yummy um so anyway um I brought my sock tube that was gifted to me by Jenny and Jill um, back at um, local yarn shop day. Yep. And um, Ray and I started our sock tubes. Um, and so Ray showed me how to cut the yarn and look, I did a toe. toe. Um, and so my heel will go here. They're just gonna be kind of short um, socks. Um, but look at me, I did a toe. Why are they so I short? Know. Because I want them short. Oh, I don't, okay. want them. I don't oh, like okay. long socks. Right. So like my heel will I'm be like, like you here. have all this. No, I know. I, I want it like this though. So like it How just comes up. How many pairs are you going to be able to But, and then, you but then you put the, the cuff on. Oh, the cuff. You didn't, okay. you no, got so the tube all knitted. She's got a machine. Yeah, she's she's uh, Jenny, I think has the tube that she cranks them. Um, yeah, but they gifted each of us a sock tube and a little mini. So, um, so yeah, I probably will be able to make like one pair like this. So it'll be folded oh, like yeah, here. Yeah. yeah. But then you, and have, then you have like an a ribbon, ribbon on it yep. too. So it comes up a little bit higher. Yep. Um, Rick, Kevin really. and I didn't want to do it because we couldn't talk. <laughs> Ray and I talked. I know. And I'm, I, you're yes. more talented maybe than oh, me. Please. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so Ray, now I need the lesson for my heel, please. Yeah. Um, because I can't do that by myself. Um, so it's just a vanilla sock. There was no pattern that we followed. It was, it was Ray's, all in Ray's, Ray's brilliant mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's a designer now. Sock yeah. designer. Um, and then my last wow. I know. whip. Oh, oh. Love this. Mm. <laughs> this is the Tolsta Tea. It is by um, Rebecca, who goes by the Crayabea. And I am knitting it in... Um, Send this garn double Sunday. Oops, got some alpaca on it. Um, and um, the stripes mm. are the alpaca ul by Send this garn. And I chose the alpaca ul because I couldn't find the color, the contrast color in the double Sunday that I wanted. This is like a, it's like a gray undertone. Yeah, it's kind of an off white, definitely like white. Right? So it just, it actually. It works great. Well, let me show you how it works. <laughs> really well. Ta-da! Mm, so good. So I'm going to do a split hem. I'm going to do a split hem, and I am going to make it, um, I think I'm going to do three-quarter length sleeves. Um, fabulous. Yeah, because the, the double Sunday is... Oh, look how good it looks for my pants, Kate. What it, oh, it does. <laughs> Double Sunday, do you know what weight it is? DK. Is it DK? DK. Yeah. Because yeah. the Sunday is fingering. Right. And okay. They yeah. hold it together. Yeah. Double Sunday is DK. Yeah. And I so it's um it's it's really good. The the um alpaca. halo from the alpaca, it, it gives it a little halo to it. Yeah, that's yeah fine. I like it. Um yeah. I like it a lot. And I don't think I can and do this it all more. No, I don't think no, I can. No, you can't because no. it's you don't have the fold over right. the time it's right. Fitting. Right. But you could maybe just secure that a little yeah, bit. You know? Yeah, yeah. But I wanted to do the split. But this is, it kind of looks almost black, but it's really like a it's dark really It's really dark. It's so dark yeah. outside yeah. today. Yeah. yeah. I think it's well. called like Sailor in the Dark. It is Sailor maybe. in the Night. Sailor in the Night. Yeah. Sailor in the it's Dark. It's like a dark navy. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, but it's a super well written pattern. And um, <clears throat> It's so nice because Rebecca gives you so many options and it's all included with the one pattern. Like you can make stripes, you can make it plain, you can make it short sleeve. 
She did um, eyelets. Eyelets in it. Love that um, one. Yeah, yeah. There, but all of the modifications are included in the one pattern, which is yep. super generous. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting her. Yes. She uh, is yes. 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 Adorable. She's. She and I, I might get this wrong, but Crea Bea is, um, it means the crafty one. Um, oh, that's in, right. She lived somewhere, I think it was like Holland or the Netherlands or somewhere. And she's always, she was always like sewing. I think she didn't start knitting until fairly recently, but she was always and now she's doing designing. Stuff. Like, like she's, she's incredible. Designing. She's incredible. I mean, she's and like and her this first is, year this designing. Is like her, this is lo her little side hustle. And it's going pretty well for her. The wow. pattern yeah. is very well written. Um, yeah. Two thumbs up. So yeah. I'd <laughs> recommend awesome. it. Yeah, it's great. That's awesome. Um, and that's my whips. Okay. Ooh. All right. Um, I have a few. Okay. Let's see. Just we pass have... something over. Oh, yeah, yeah. This oh, will be fun. Okay. okay. We got some swag when we went to <laughs> Kevin and Ray's. Let's hear it for the boys. They're make-along bags. Oh my whoop, God, look whoop. how cute those are. I know. So while we were there, we had to dip into Kevin's yarn. Um, for oh, needles that's already so yarn and it was fun it was fun to see um where he makes the yarn and what his thoughts are behind it and how he's learning and where the magic happens where the magic happens <laughs> exactly um but he need, we were telling him like you need kits now yes. now because he's got so many fabulous like colors i'm like let's mix them together so i stole three <laughs> Sorry, Kevin. I know. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll probably give him the. Uh, oh my God. The. Oh wow. Right? Aren't they great? So good. I'll that get the blue. names in a second. This yeah. blue is beautiful. beautiful. Oh my yeah. God. Okay, so this, this is. They're, oh, it's all oh super washed. Oh my God. Bejeweled. Is that this is, one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. And then it's Twilight. And Jeez. Twilight is the middle one. Yeah. Oh, and Apollo. Oh my no, gosh. No, no, ghost, ghost water. Ghost water. Ghost water. Ghost water. Yeah, it's so the light here's their logo. Fabulous. It's all fingering. It's all super wash. And I just had to put these together. Mm, so it's, oh my God. look yeah, at that. Knitting up beautifully. Look at, mm. this is their little stitch marker too <laughs> from their Le Garçon. Your progress keeper. Your progress keeper. I am knitting. These colors are to die Aren't they great? Right? And they're so, it's so soft. It's beautiful. I am knitting the Stay Soft Shawl by somebody. <laughs> Vera Valamaki. All right, yes. I knew that. Yeah. And let me show you a better picture of it. Yeah, that's uh, not reading This very is well not reading well rest. either because it's, is that showing up on the screen? Yeah. 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 Anyway, you, you can click on my, um, the show notes below. It's and a great you three to... color shawl. Yes. What it is. Yeah. And these colors So what are happens killer. next after the stripe beads? So I, then I do a solid dark blue. Okay. And then I pick up along this edge uh -huh. and do the one the solid stripe of the multicolor. Oh, yes, the bejeweled. Yeah. You're going to have to give this back to him, right? I know. <laughs> I, 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 I will. I'm hoping to get this done by Ryan Beck so he could wear it. And um, he was and knitting a shawl also. photograph it for his website. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, Those he know, I'm a sucker for great. a kit. So yeah. if you put something I think together. I is, aren't they? I think kits just like... If you and like something and you see a kit, it's like, yeah. oh, it's so easy. Like, you easy. don't yeah. have to think yeah. about it. These and, colors and are... Dinah and Pam are so good at doing that. Yes. On their, yes. If you ever see their Instagram the lives. Are, so, so good. It's I so good. I love those colors. Um, yeah. So, was happy to steal that from them. <laughs> I know. This, um, I almost my, didn't give them a choice. Was it was from, um, the Moon Drake was from the knitting place and they were doing one of their Instagram the lives. They do like yeah. unboxings. Mm, and yes. they pulled this color out and I was like texting Dinah as they're still like live. <laughs> like I need that green, put it away. <laughs> and being in her store yesterday was yes. so dangerous. Like Ooh, I didn't buy anything because I'm on a knitting. Mm -hmm. You'll see why. <laughs> I think no we've shoppers. already seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I stole that. <laughs> um, okay, just a simple, simple baby, yes. baby blanket. This is called the Baby Blossom Blanket by Nancy O'Connell. It's knit with the Hayfield um, Baby Blossom. O. Yeah, it's Nancy O. Yeah. Baby Blossom Chunky. Let the yarn do the work for you and yeah. knit and 
knit away. So you just knit, knit and the pattern like automatically Exactly. Comes. Yeah. So, and there's lots of different colors that mm -hmm. they have. They have pink, it's such they have gray, a cute, they like have blue. It, just, it looks like I spent a lot of time on it. It does. And, yes. But no. You're so yeah. fancy. <laughs> And it's three skeins and quick, That's quickly yeah. it's easy that yeah. the lovely. baby baby stuff is so cute. Yeah, yeah, I know. So I don't have any babies to knit for yet. I don't. Well, now Sue's a little baby, but I don't know. So she's, Sue inspired me. She's got. I went to her house um, a couple weeks ago. She's got just a pile of baby knits ready to go. Oh, yes. smart. She, yep, it is smart because then you're not like ah. So her pile is ginormous. <laughs> Anyway, it's fun to it's knit small cool. things it too. Is. Again, little yeah. palette, palette, palette cleanser. cleanser. Like, right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, lastly, is the Luca shawl by Julie Hoover. Mm. Um, yeah, this has been in my queue since I first Forever. heard about Mayak <laughs> and Julie Hoover. So it's the Luca shawl. Um, lots of people were knitting it during our make along with Mayak and um, Julie. Uh, so it was time. I am using Mayak baby lace. Wait, I bought this at Vogue Knitting when I first heard about Mayak. So it's a while ago. Several years ago. Yeah, I remember this. Mustard. Yeah. Mustard. Baby brown. It's the, yeah, it's I love this theme. color. Yeah. I love this color. Know. It's going to take me forever, but it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's just going to. It's just it something is, you can have. And it's knit something a couple I rows can at have. A time. Knit a couple, yeah. I knit about five rows at a time because it is very fine. Um, but and you it, kind of have to pay attention to the pattern, right? Well, Yes, At I do. Point. I actually, there's like so many charts for it, but it's well laid, like, you know, yeah. here's chart yeah. B or yeah. whatever. Yeah. And I think there's, it goes up to D, <laughs> D, E, yeah. E. Um, <laughs> and I actually like to write out my pattern. So I, you can see a pattern happening after a while, like, okay, it's a decrease here. You know, it starts to become a little more intuitive than it looks. So yeah. Um, it's just going to be on the needles for a while. Yeah, and, and that's the same color, correct? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And that yarn, so. I mean, that kind of project, like, I know it's a commitment, but, but it's going to lock like, it and I, it's going to be I feel like after making heaven. that, bleh, it's <laughs> like, it's just a classic, yeah. typical, beautiful Julie Hoover design that's going to stay in style forever. Yeah. And yeah, it's going to be a go-to. So beautiful. That's nice. that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Now let's talk about what's happening in the future here. What, what's to um, cast on next or what's so acquisitions, I um, guess, huh? Well, my only acquisitions were all of that lion brand for the, um, for the friend to friends. Um, I am going to knit and I didn't bring the pattern with me. Um, the Amy slip over. It's a mm. Sandus Garn yeah. pattern. Um, Pull it up. It or, has, um, it's like a vest, but it has like ties on the side of it. Yeah. So I Jana has a beautiful that. one. Jana has it. And mm -hmm. I tried it on at Local Yarn Shop Day and I loved it. So that will be happening. Um, I also may do um, a sweater um, that Felicia had in the shop. So here's the Amy slip over. Yeah, it's really cute. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a really good thing for you too. Like I'm surprised you don't do more like this. Yeah. Because you're always you're not like a big I'm, bulky yeah. sweater yeah. person yeah. and you can have a cute hot. shirt under that. And, yeah. Or yeah. not. Yeah. <laughs> um I have a lot of good vests on like in me my too. in my favorites and I need to start knitting some of There's them. There's some good vests out there, right? Yeah. Now. There are good ones. Yeah. Um, but the other top that I might make with the Fua Fua that I bought for the moon bumps is called, I think it's called a Nightingale. Um, oh, they yes. had a sample of it. Yeah. I pick up every stitch last time I was there. That was knit in Fua Fua. And it was knit in oh, Fua Fua. Wow. And it's, no, not the one you saw. There's another one. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, I'm trying to find it, but I don't see it here. Uh, Night, Nightingale Crescent, it was called. And it has like the little lacy mm. yoke like that. It's short sleeves. Let me see. Oh gosh, Isn't that's that pretty? beautiful. Yeah, yeah, really pretty. So I may do that, but I think the the next thing is going to be the Amy slip over for me. Okay. And okay. what are you gonna knit that in? That I am going to knit in um, Max and Vincent's Les Garçons. Oh, their yard is so beautiful. Yeah. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have it already, the yarn, or no? Yes. Yeah, Wait, it. Which color did you do, navy? I did. Uh, yeah. uh, it's gorgeous. Vincent it's like a dark. Understands beautiful, yes. deep colors, yeah. I, th yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. It's definitely my aesthetic. So. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm looking forward so, to that. Nice. Um, so I have two sweaters that I, I'm going to knit next. I'm not really sure of the order. Um, one of them, um, again, I saw a sample of this at Pick Up Every Stitch. Um, this is the Melange sweater by Petite Knit. And for some reason, I'm just loving that marl right now. So I'm probably going to do those two colors are pretty close to it. Thinking about that. And then I showed this last time when I was... Um, home i bought um this okay. yarn um so uh outside of edinburgh there's um if you go east onto the sort of peninsula it's called east lothian um in north barrack there's this great little shop and she has yarns but she also has um knit sweaters but like really um special uh like a, uh, i can't remember the brand but anyway it's just a cute little shop and she has a lot of different yarns but i bought this um before, you know, back in May or June, when I was there one time. And it's a fingering and it's 75% blue face Leicester and 25 gray Gotland. And it's kind of rustic, but it also um, has some softness to it. Yeah. And so I was looking around on Ravelry and unfortunately this is not gonna show, but there's a sweater called the Peggy and it's not going to show very well because hers is in such a, um, a light color. And she uses a fingering held with a mohair. Mm. But this had such a nice sort of halo to it that nice I hair. really didn't want to. So um, I just did a sample and I got like perfect gauge. Um, but I'm wondering, I guess it's actually showing up. Like I feel like, because uh, all it is, it's um, a top-down sweater. It does have some bobbles on, but most of it is just like a pearl pattern yeah. mm. and, and with the, with the yeah. color in this yarn it's giving it nice depth <clears throat> i know yeah, i was wondering though if it is, like yeah. if the pattern isn't going to really show up but it does it, show, it shows up it's yeah just, it's, it's just it hard to show at up home like this. Uh, yeah yeah um so i think i'm going to do that and it it's, i think without with with not doing a mohair held it's going to be nice and light like a early fall kind of you know sweater so okay. um I'm, yes. I'm pretty in love with this yarn i just think it's really cool and mm -hmm. i think it's it's, it's got some um long hairs in it but i think it's going to be a little bit like the um let lopi like the more you wash it and the more right so sort of some of the long hairs come out um the softer it will get so that's so beautiful when i finish my moon bumps one of these sweaters is going on my needles i haven't decided which i one. love the melange i do too i'm just, i i just i can i can survive just on petite knits i know patterns. it's like her <laughs> they're so simple but they're just so beautiful mm -hmm. and i i yeah. really love 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 the She's melange. A machine. um so that's probably going to make it on my needles first okay just because i'm nice it's time yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah all right, yeah, I have a few things that I, I, I had a whip. It was the mesh sweater. Um, I think oops, you showed it last time. I, but. Yeah, by Suzanne Mueller. And um, I had bought Echo, Isayer Echo Baby and um, an Ito and held it together. Knit it all the way about to split for sleeves and I couldn't even get my arm in the hole. <laughs> It was me. I didn't make a swatch. Don't give me that look. <laughs> and then I was losing like interest in the sweater because I think it was pissed. But also it wasn't the giving Ito, you joy. Um, the Ito was, was not. It was like string. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't. It, did, it had no give to it. Yeah. And it was the wrong. I chose it was the, the wrong, wrong yarn. Yeah. yarn. So then I was getting mad. So I just frogged it and decided I would not make this anymore. So, but I did love using the eco, um, J, or J, <laughs> <laughs> I just called it my husband's name. Uh, the, one of the bags has it in it. Um, sorry. Oh, I found it. Sorry. Okay. Um, I did love this yarn. Here. There you go. Yeah. Ah. Uh, it's, a it's a chain It's a chain at construction, baby alpaca yeah. and cotton. It is echo baby, eco, echo. And I saw a beautiful pattern on wool folk, the Cox comb pullover. Of course, it was using wool folk yarn, 
but um, this was the same gauge and the same type of feel to it because mm. of the cotton in it. So I made a What's swatch. What's this? <laughs> because because you didn't want to. I was yeah, yeah. I know. So it's this good. is um 68% baby alpaca and 32% organic cotton. cotton. Right. And it is it's it's luscious beautiful. and it just knit up beautifully. Yeah. yeah. It's really so nice. the girls are here today to help me have <laughs> not. To I don't podcast. know how to read a lace pattern when doing to measure it to measure it so um we'll do that later yeah but um <clears throat> yeah it's i think beautiful. it's going to be a beautiful sweater and it just was like something a little bit different to do yeah that's um, really pretty yeah i do too really coxcomb cool. that's in the wool folk um actually i don't know who the designer is off the top of my head but you'll, it'll be in my show notes so Looking forward to for you guys to do that for me. <laughs> and then the last thing that happened was Petite Knit. Just killing again. me with the Eva <sighs> cardigan. Yeah. Oh, I, you know, I got to stop following her. I, think that's <laughs> the thing. Um, I had to have it. Her designs are just so Where's good. Them? They're so yeah. classic. And I just bought this yarn. I bought it online because I had to have it. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, from Mother Knitter was the website I ordered it on. Great so website. They are, um, I learned yesterday they Ramping. are the distributor of a sadness garn. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Oh, did Diana, Diana tell you that? that. Yeah, okay. No. Um, yeah, and I guess they're in Red Bank, New Jersey, so not too far from Connecticut. So, so it came really fast. Really fast. <laughs> okay. And it's the Petite Knit in her new colorway, um, which I don't it's know. Like it's going to be. Yeah, yeah, be, yeah, exactly. Number 5591. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful, rich navy, I think. So is it our soft, usual cashmere loveliness? Not really, but... Um, it's a cardigan. I'm gonna have a what shirt on it underneath. Say. So, but it looks like a good, like a yarn that's gonna withhold the, you know, stand up. To it's a hundred percent Norwegian wool. That's what it's. There you go. Not yeah. Norwegian wood. Norwegian wool. wool. Yeah. Wool. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now um, that I'm gonna pick a size, probably do medium or large, like I usually do with her patterns, and mm -hmm. cast that on. Um, but my, my queue just keeps getting longer oh and longer Me too. and longer Me too. than that time. Um, I'm not particularly doing a Rhinebeck sweater. Like the I thought we were doing do. a pocket along. Pocket along. We're doing the, oh, yeah, we, we didn't forgot. talk about know, that. Yeah, actually. we got to get on that. We do need to get on that. Well, yes. It's going to take like a day to knit the pocket. That's yeah, but true. what are we going to attach true. the pockets to? I don't know. Well, Kevin is yeah. working on something okay. for us. Yeah. So okay. we're okay. kind of waiting on yeah. okay. hold yeah. of that. Um, what yeah, else? So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Any um, tips, tricks, techniques, um, tidbits? Yes, and we talked about this yesterday in the car, but um, Patty Lyons has been killing it on Instagram lately. Mm -hmm. um, she keeps posting these little short videos with tips and tricks on her account, and they're fabulous. And Kim and I, we said we keep saving them. We're not sure where they go to when we save them, and we've never looked at them. Again. I never watch it, no, but I, I save them. But I'm they're like... real, yeah, they're really good. So um, I used oh, no, one no, of no. her bind off tricks on my friend to friend. So it's so that the bind off doesn't get too tight. You, I, I, I don't know if I'll be able to explain it right, but you knit one and then you knit the next one, and before you let it off of the left needle, you bind the one off of the right, so it gives the left stitch a little bit more yarn to it so it makes the um bind nope, off not nope as tight what you're saying <laughs> okay well she explains it. it she explains no. it very well I, i'm a and visual is, learner i need is, to see it, it yeah. they are yeah. little videos so yeah. anyway follow patty lyons is my tip that's your tip that's yes. a good one yeah. she, and uh, obviously she had a um a book come out yes. like a year yes, ago yes, yes, which yes. i have and if i ever had like it's i i turn to it like i flip through it it's not something you would like read but I flipped through it to just have a yeah, like, basic oh, understanding of... I need to make of, this kind of buttonhole, or I need yeah, to Yeah, but do, when you come across yeah, something, it's like, yeah. oh, I can go and I can find that yeah. and come up yeah. with ideas. And yeah. Yeah. She's, yeah, she's very smart. I mean, she's, she's just obviously just think like that got way. A, an engineer type of yeah. brain, and yeah. she's yeah. like... And because I read her column, she does for modern day yes. knitting, and yes. I always yes. read it, even if it's nothing to do with. Yes. And she just people say, "Oh, my stitches are doing this, or I don't like this," and she just analyzes why that's happening why. and yeah. how to it's fix it. Why? Yeah, it's the why. It's the why, and then yeah. how to fix it, and you know, 
Thank God for it's interesting. Like I know yeah. because I'm just knit, knit, knit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Tell me what to do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good to go. Yeah. Um, I had a list of some podcasts that I was watching, but it's on my phone. And <laughs> Which is videotaping us yes, right now. So, so I will just put them below because there were some new ones, but off the top of my head, I I don't want to screw it up. Knitting Posse. <laughs> yeah, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. And like, like and subscribe um, because we, we were talking with Dinah and Pam 